Hello and greetings. Welcome back to our part five of how to use Redmine Project Manager. On our previous video, we learned how to basically start creating our project. It was the first time we started getting our projects ready to go. Now on this video, we're gonna learn how we start creating actual service calls. Um, so let me go ahead and open the Opera and we're going to go ahead and log in. Okay, so on Redmine, um, how we, we link the a service call is under an issue. So, but before we get too far, what we're going to do is go under administration and we're going to go under issue statuses and remember how on like our video 2 we just created um, under our, our tracker or our workflow the only thing I used was new closed and in progress so basically that's all we're going to need. So I'm going to delete, reject it. So I'm going to press OK to this. I'm going to delete also feedback. And I'm going to delete resolved. So the only three things that I'm going to have is new, in progress, and close. That way that's all the, that this particular company is going to need. So once we get this out of the way, now we can go back to our projects. So let's assume that uh, a call comes in. So he or she takes the call and basically it's going to take all the information. So we're going to just assume that this is going to be um, a TNM call. Let's just assume it's a, it's a customer that does not have a maintenance contract. They're not under warranty or, or anything of that nature. So um, on here, you can see under our trackers is where any, anything that has to do with that particular service. So let's assume that it's going to be a camera issue. So I'm going to go ahead and select camera and I'm going to go ahead and click on new issue right here. So here's my new issue. I'm going to select what kind of issue is going to be. So it's going to be a camera. And you know the the, the subject is going to be um, I don't know main main entrance camera oops no video so then on here we could actually say let's say uh, security manager called I don't know I don't know if, if they would put the time but whatever I mean whatever their policy the, the 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 customer's policy is so security manager called um, uh, saying I don't know I don't know how much information you want but I guess the more the merrier uh, called saying that main entrance Camera shows no video. Video shows no video. Um, I don't know. Uh, camera, camera, in uh, IDF. How about that? In IDF one, uh, first floor. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know what the hell, but first floor okay so you get the gist basically it, it's they put as much information they want they can on there and it's going to be a new a new status is priority is going to be new, normal now you, you do have other types but normal seems to be whatever so let's say the start date would be uh, when the customer was told that uh, 
that you you would be there um, and then maybe the due date might be the date of when you're going to supposed to finish from when to when so let's assume that they called on a Friday and it's supposed to be done between Friday and Monday so that you click on the 8th and that's it so it's start date and the due date um, if they have like a minimum estimate maybe they, they type it there or whatever and basically who can keep track of um, who could be watching maybe at this point it would just be the watchers would be the admin um, the service admin here and obviously ourselves since, since we're messing with this um, and then who is it assigned to which technician so this would be service technician one um, and we're going to create so now that that particular service call is created now you can see issue number one is created and on here it was added by me but let's say it was a manager then it would say their name and then basically what the description of what's supposed to be you know what the problem what the problem is um, so now let's go ahead and and assume that we're gonna log in as the as a technician so I'm gonna sign out and now I'm gonna sign in as service service so this, I'm gonna start in service tech one okay so now you can see here on the right now I'm logged in as service tech one so if I go to my page uh, yeah that's fine let's save it if I go to my page here you'll notice that now under my page I had get an issue what my what my log is so and the system actually works pretty good also on the cell phones um, I've actually have them pretty much implemented with a couple customers and tablets and androids and also uh, the iOS they work really good um, so now the technician will click on the what he's supposed to be doing and well you know what I, I, I should have put on here the, maybe the address of the customer or whatever because um, now he, he won't be able to see where he's supposed to go so obviously I messed up but I mean you get the idea so now he gets to the customer site and now he's gonna go ahead and uh, either log time okay so he's gonna log let's say an hour okay and remember how I set up under activities you can see why okay so it's gonna be a service TNM so he's there and he realizes that yeah the customer does definitely doesn't have anything and maybe what the comment was you know um, uh, checked uh, camera uh, oops camera and need to return turn to with oh no return with replace it replacement so I mean uh, you know you get the gist basically what it is so now the call went out and but you'll notice that when I typed it in as just log time the time was definitely logged but you can't really see anything that's going on and that's I always see it as a problem what I always recommend is that they click on edit and once they get edit they can actually move the status from new to in progress so that way it already changes and now here under time log then that's where, when I, where I recommend to put the time so let's say he was there for an hour and it was a, a TNM service and basically what, what he's doing you know uh, will return you, you, so you get to you actually understand where, where this is going um, so you know the first thing is uh, checked check camera camera and it needs to be 
placed. Okay, and then you know what he I guess what he's gonna do. He's gonna uh, will return turn with oops replacement and, and let's assume it's an IP camera so and PoE what the hell um, and if there's a picture he could actually upload it now you notice by default you only have five megabytes that you could upload and nowadays five megabyte a five megabyte picture is definitely very small so I'll show you where you up, actually update that. So, but for now, we're going to go ahead and, and submit. And you'll notice that now it's different. Now it gives you history. You know, what he did, how much time was logged and so forth. Um, and you can keep track of it because now you can see time spent has been two hours. The other one, it did show you that you spent an hour, but it didn't show you it at a glance. You can't see what's going on so that's what I why I recommend to go into the edit so let's just assume that he he already went and came back with the camera or whatever you can click on edit or he would click on edit and um, you know he spent another I don't know another hour God, he's taking forever um, service was a TNM and on here percentage done he could now move it over to either a hundred percent or just move this over to closed okay and then on here uh, maybe you put the next note which is replaced replace camera uh, and video was okay what the hell and now he could submit it maybe he has another picture or whatever I mean whatever he does submit it and there you go now if you go under history you can actually see at the very top he has three hours that that this particular project uh, was done and then you can see the original description of the operator I guess I should have done it by operator but so freelance tech which was the operator he put all this information on there and then the history was here and so everybody that, that's actually part of the organization can actually see at a glance everything that's going on to this particular project so um, hopefully this is starting to make sense and all the pieces are starting to fall together but um, I'll definitely see you on the next video thanks for watching